Hi guys, thank you so much for those of you who commented that my volume is too low at times. So I'm using my new microphone and hopefully it'll be much better. I wanted to share an experience that I had recently that was an, an amazing manifestation. It has to do with this, the green bracelet is what I'm calling it. Uh, my husband loves to get me these bracelets and he's found a really cool shop um, boutique in London. I'm sure those of you who live there know about it. Uh, of course you can find these bracelets anywhere and he, I'm sure he's paying a huge premium for these but I don't want to take away his joy in finding these things for me and, and giving them to me. I think it's, um, it's so sweet of him. Anyway, they come in these little pouches and it's kind of fun to, um, to get them. So I have four of them, as you can see. About two weeks ago, uh, I woke up, uh, took my shower and started getting dressed and went to put my bracelets on. And I always put them in the same place. I have this really pretty jewelry box. It's quite big and it's made of semi-precious stones. It's just so beautiful. It was made in India. And I went to put my bracelets on and the green one was missing. And I didn't worry at first. I started looking around. I looked within the jewelry box and then I started, you know, okay, I couldn't find it there. So I um, started looking in every corner in the house, literally turned the house upside down trying to find my green bracelet. I looked in the sofas. I, I was starting to get in a panic because I thought, my God, the green one is the most recent one he's given me. He had given it to me like a couple of days before. And I just, I had to find it. I, you know, it would have uh, broken my heart to have to tell him that I just lost the bracelet you got me. So I went so far as to go and open the vacuum cleaner bag. Yuck, if you've ever done that, you got to put a mask on because the dust coming out of those things is, is horrific. But anyway, I carefully dissected that bag, trying to find the bracelet and no bracelet. So I didn't know how to tell him when he came home. I thought, you know what, just don't say anything. Give yourself another day before you tell him that you lost the bracelet. And uh, my heart was just breaking. Anyhow, so um, he comes home with a surprise. Another one of these. And I said, you know, I have to tell you something. Uh, I, I, and I, I feel so bad. So I told him that I had lost the green bracelet and he said, honey, uh, do me a favor, open this up. And I did. And it was the green bracelet. He said, I never bought you a green bracelet. This is the first time I'm buying you a green bracelet. And I thought, oh my God, no, no, it's impossible. I have not dreamed this. This is not in my imagination. He said, no, I promise you, I can show you the the invoices. I, I've only bought you three up to, up to now. This is the fourth one. It was then that it hit me, the power of manifestation. I'll tell you why, because what it said to me is that manifestation has no time. And whether we're thinking consciously, subconsciously, or superconsciously, those consciousness levels have no relevance with time. Time doesn't come into the picture. And I thought, wow, if that's the case, then things that we want are irrelevant to time, are not affected by this, you know, this um, limitation that we have imposed on ourselves as to when things have to get done, uh, you know, this, this hours and days and months and this sort of thing. So it was a really powerful uh, message to me that if you take time out of the equation, anything is possible. And in fact, <clears throat> when we put time constraints on ourselves, we just kind of block this energy from all these wonderful things manifesting, just as the bracelet did. And he was right. He had only ordered three, <clears throat> and perhaps I had jumped in time, perhaps um, again in my subconsciousness or super consciousness, I had already manifested the bracelet. It was already in my vortex and, and all, it was just a matter of time before it appeared. So 
it's the same thing with our lives and our businesses. If we want something to happen, it's the idea of just keeping that vision alive, you know, envisioning it and seeing it and feeling and touching it. I could have sworn I had this bracelet already. I felt it, I touched it, I envisioned it, I, I, I saw it, I wore it, and it came to me. So that is, to me, such an incredible message about the universe and about manifestation that we must feel it and touch it and see it and smell it and feel it if we want it to realize. Whatever that is, uh, your business, of course, your, your lifestyle, your 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 relationships whatever you want your material desires and that was the strongest manifestation i've ever had and i just had to share with you so um manifest 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 the most wonderful life the most wonderful business the most wonderful things you can imagine all right